Hello guys, welcome back to Tech Course PH. Um, in this video, bibigyan uli namin kayo ng idea para sa mga information technology graduates kung ano ang mga career opportunities na pwede sa inyo pag kayo ay nakatapos ng inyong course. Again, this is based sa uh, Indeed.com and uh, submitted anonymously by uh, different employers, employees, and users to come up with uh, the average based salary ng mga careers na babanggitin ko later sa inyo. But uh, again, before we start, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to TechCourse PH and also sana ma-follow nyo rin yung aming uh, Facebook page. Without further ado, let's start! Ang first career is um, an IT technician. IT technician has an average based salary of 19,886 pesos per month. An IT technician collaborates with support specialists to analyze and diagnose computer issues. They also monitor processing functions, install relevant software, and perform tests on computer equipment and applications when necessary. They may also train a company's employees, clients, and other users on a new program or function as well. IT technicians must earn an associate degree in IT or a bachelor's degree in computer science or networking. Technicians render services for IT companies depending on the industry they choose to work in and may need to learn more about database programming to give themselves an advantage in an entry-level role. Second is computer programmer. Um, computer programmer has an average based salary of uh, 23,983 per month. A computer programmer is someone who writes new computer software using coding languages like HTML, JavaScript, and CSS. Video game software can be updated to improve online gameplay which is an opportunity for programmers to troubleshoot problems experienced by gamers after the game is released to the general public. A programmer typically completes a bachelor's degree in computer science and internship to build their skills. Certifications are also strongly encouraged and there are many coding academies to choose from. Third is support specialist. Um, it has an average base salary of 27157 per month. Support specialists are responsible for reviewing and solving computer network and hardware problems for a business. They can work in a variety of industries to provide general support to a company's employees or at a technology or software as a service company to provide technical support on user experience issues that require technical assistance. Support specialists typically obtain a bachelor's degree in IT or computer science. Having a certificate or an associate degree paired with relevant professional experience may also be acceptable. Next is web developer. Um, web developer has an average based salary of 28,085 pesos per month. Web developers design the appearance, navigation, and content organization of a website. They use coding languages such as HTML, CSS, and JavaScript to manage graphics, applications, and content that address a client's needs. Many web developers earn an associate degree in web development or other relevant IT field. Some may pursue a bachelor's degree in IT or another business field. Others may develop their web design skills through certificate programs or self-paced learning. To secure employment, previous experience and a portfolio of work are often required. Next is IT Security Specialist. It has an average base salary of 42417 per month. IT Security Specialists work in various industries to build and maintain digital protective measures on intellectual property and data that belong to an organization. They help companies create contingency plans in case information gets hacked from their networks and servers. These professionals also create strategies to troubleshoot problems as they arise. 
A bachelor's degree or professional certification is often required. Courses may involve math, programming, and operating system, and certification offered by the Information System Security Certification Consortium. Next is System Analyst. Um, system Analyst has an average-based salary of 31241 per month. A Systems Analyst reviews design components and uses their knowledge of information technology to solve business problems. They identify ways that infrastructure needs to change to streamline business and IT operations. They can also assist technicians in training staff to implement the changes they propose. A bachelor's degree in computer science or a related IT field is often required. Coursework in business administration, management, and finance may help these professionals better apply their IT knowledge to improve business practices. Next is Network Engineer. Ang Network Engineer has an average based salary of 30, uh, 32,755 per month. Network Engineers work on the day-to-day -day maintenance and development of a company's computer network, utilizing their skills to make the network available and efficient for all employees within an organization. These professionals typically need a bachelor's degree in computer science or information systems to understand the functions of a network and become familiar with potential solutions needed to maintain one. Some employers may also require a master's of business administration degree for those who work in other internal stakeholders of the organization to determine the best technology practices. Next is Quality Assurance Tester. Um, uh, it has an average base salary of 33,232 per month. Quality Assurance Testers are technicians or engineers who check software products to see if they are up to industry standards and free of any issues. This role is common for gaming systems, mobile applications, and other technology that needs further testing and maintenance when recommended. Many quality assurance testers have a bachelor's degree in software design, engineering, or computer science. Testers can work on different software for IT companies, which may influence what degree or specialization they pursue. These professionals should also have excellent time management and communication skills to help document test cases. Next is User Experience Designer. It has an average based salary of 36582 per month. A user experience designer is involved with all facets of product development regarding its purchasing, branding, usability, and functionality. They collect and review user feedback to determine what a product needs to be efficient, functional, and successful. They apply this feedback to the design, organization, and usability. These professionals then monitor the process of testing and revising products until they meet their customers' high-quality standards. UX designer may pursue an associate or bachelor's degree program in an IT field and pursue additional coursework or training in design, business, web development, and programming. Others may be self-taught in programming, design, and development. Many employers do seek previous experience so an internship or portfolio may help these professionals secure employment. Next is Software Engineer. It has an average based salary of 38439 per month. Software engineers apply their knowledge of mathematics and computer science to create and improve new software. They may work on enterprise applications, operating systems, and network control systems, which are all examples of software that can be used to help businesses scale their IT infrastructure. Most computer scientists need both a bachelor's and a master's degree to become expert in a software development and maintenance. They learn and practice skills in technical problem solving, diagnosis, 
troubleshooting, and programming languages. Next is Database Administrator. It has an average base salary of 47802 per month. Database administrators employ specialized software to organize and keep track of data. The software can be associated with software configuration, security, and performance when applicable. These professionals frequently diagnose and solve complex IT issues related to the data infrastructure to ensure an organization's data is safe, accessible, and easy to navigate. Database administrators typically need to earn a bachelor's degree in computer science or management information systems. They often start as a database analyst or a developer before moving into this role so they can obtain experience in data collection and working within a network's databases. Next is Data Scientist. It has an average base salary of 56097 per month. A data scientist analyzes and organizes data to determine trends that can influence business decisions. Their methods and IT tools use statistics and machine learning to help collect and process a company's data such as financial records, sales, prospects, and lead generation. Some duties vary from specific industries. For example, Data scientists in the healthcare industry keep electronic health records intact for hospitals to have access to confidential medical information. They may also use data to help healthcare organizations make sound business decisions. Many of these professionals choose to pursue both a bachelor's and master's degree in IT or other business fields. Some pursue additional degrees coursework, and certifications that relate to their specific industry, such as healthcare. And lastly, you can be an IT director. It has an average base salary of 61628 per month. An IT director oversees the strategy and execution of IT operations for an organization. They ensure the department's tasks align with the company's goals and development. These professionals may also collaborate with other internal IT professionals as well as executive management to generate contingency plans, budgets, and development goals. This position may require a graduate degree and relevant industry certifications, such as in certain programs or applicable management courses, entry and mid-level roles in IT support and database architecture can provide these professionals with the well-rounded experience to help them advance to this management post. So, sana nakatulong kami na mabigyan kayo ng idea and motivation to uh, pursue your course in information technology at uh, sana nagkaroon din kayo ng idea kung ano yung mga pwedeng uh, careers na pwede ninyong i-pursue after graduation ng BSIT. So uh, once again, please do like, share, comment, and subscribe to TechCourse PH and hope to see you soon in our next video.